Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. It's something a little bit different that I wanted to try, kind of inspired a bit by Craig Adams and his amazing nature videos or his hiking videos. So if you haven't had a look at those, then go check him out. And I kind of just wanted to show you like just some of the amazing countryside that we have to offer here in the UK. It's so stunning, so beautiful. Um, and while people aren't really traveling as much, like not really getting or catching flights, um, we're trying to just make the most of seeing some new parts of the country. So yeah, hopefully uh, you enjoyed it. Um, and I just wanted to spend the next part of the video just kind of talking about some more like practical things in case you wanted to go and do the same thing, um, specifically in Malham. It's a little village in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. We actually drove there. It doesn't have a train station. The nearest station is a place called Settle, which I think is on the Leeds to Carlisle line. So, and then from there, it's probably about a 20 minute drive or taxi, um, if you did want to go there by public transport. Um, and then we parked at the, the, the main visitor center um, and it's five pounds for the day. We went in September, what are we now? Yeah, uh, yeah, kind of like mid-September. The, the temperature was very pleasant. Um, we kind of set off like mid-afternoon on a Sunday. So yeah, there was quite a few people around, especially at like the main tourist bits, like the cove on the pavement, um, and then like at the, at, the found, at the waterfalls. But the main part of the run I hardly saw anybody. So the route itself um, wasn't like a particular marked path or anything. Some of it was on the Pennine Way, um, but yeah, I just kind of plotted out a route for myself that took in all of the sites. Um, so like Malham Cove, the limestone pavement, which is the like top of the cove, which you might recognize from Harry Potter. Um, and they filmed a, a few other things there as well. Janet's Foss, which was the waterfall, Gordell Scar, which was the other waterfall, and then Malham Tarn, which is like the big lake. In terms of the run itself, it was just over 10 miles, about 10 and a half miles, um, with about 1,200 feet of elevation. Most of that came from uh, climbing the cove at the beginning, um, and then a few little ups and downs throughout. It kind of featured a bit of everything. So there was like technical kind of stony trail, uh, some grass some steps, and then like quite a few styles and gates to go through, which you saw um, lots of rivers, waterfalls, just amazing views, hills, and loads of wildlife, loads of sheep. In terms of kit, I just wore my normal trail shoes. Obviously, if you're hiking, you can wear your hiking boots. Um, and then I just took my normal emergency stuff. So uh, in my pack, I had a waterproof jacket um, and then a dry bag with a spare top, first aid kit, foil blanket, mobile phone. I'll put everything down in the comments below. And then in terms of navigation, I um, just plotted out my route on Strava Route Builder. And then on there, you can like toggle the heat map so you can see where other people have gone. And then I just send that to my watch. This is the Garmin 945 and then I just use the maps on there just so I know where I'm going and so I can't get lost. And then I'll, I'll put a link to the GPX file um, that I made down in the description. So if you want to go and do that exact route, then you can download that and follow it on your phone or on your watch. And then in terms of supplies en route, you don't really go through any other villages or anything. It is just Malham. So there's it is a small village, but there are pubs and cafes and little shops. So. Um, you can restock before or afterwards and yeah that's kind of it so i really hope that you enjoyed this let me know because uh, i really enjoyed making it I and mean, i'd quite like to do some more stuff like this in the future so yeah let me know if you enjoyed please subscribe if you haven't already um, and i'll see you next time bye